dear students in this video we are going to discuss a trick which concerns about multiplying two numbers having sum of last digit as 10 or 100 or 1000 so basically powers of 10 so now we would learn a shortcut where you would be multiplying two numbers having some special property now what is that special property the special property is that the sum of their last digit should be equal to either 10 100 or 1000 let us see so basically in this type of questions you have to keep two things in mind two things in mind now what are those two things the sum of last digit should be 10 so look at these two numbers 67 and 63 their last digits are 7 and 3 so if you add 7 and 3 the answer is 10 also the remaining digits so remaining digit of both the numbers should be same identical so 6 here and 6 here also so both the numbers are such that their last digit when you add it comes out to be equal to 10 the remaining digits of both the numbers are same identical identical look here again second example 21 multiplied by 29 if you look at their last digits 1 and 9 if you add them up the sum is 10 the remaining digits 2 and 2 so remaining digits are identical so these type of questions now we will see a shortcut look at third example 317 multiplied with 313 so if you look at the last digit of both the numbers 7 and 3 so if you add them up it comes equal to 10 the remaining digits of both the numbers so in first number the remaining digits are 3 and 131 in the second number also the remaining digits are 3 and 131 so both these remaining digits are same identical so in these kind of questions you can solve this within 10 seconds 10 seconds maximum fine if you practice you can also solve this in like 3 to 5 seconds now what is the trick let us see so let's take this example 17 multiplied with 13 so sum of the last digits 17 and 13 so this is equal to 10 and the remaining digits are identical 1 and 1 so remaining digits are identical so yes these two questions satisfy the given criteria these two questions satisfy the criteria now how can we solve this using the shortcut let us see so the trick is so last digit so one digit of this number and one digit of the second number so if you add these two digits the answer comes out to be equal to 10 so one digit from here one digit from here total two digits therefore you make two blank spaces here two blank spaces why i am making two blank spaces why not three blank space because one digit from first number and one digit from second number and if you add them it comes out to be equal to 10 so we are using one digit of first number and one digit of second number so total two digits so make two blank spaces here and one single blank here one single blank here so if you have made two blank spaces here that means here you can write two digits maximum two digit one digit over one, one blank space now what is the shortcut you multiply these two digits 7 and 3 so 7 multiplied by 3 is equal to 21 so you have to write 21 in these two blank spaces so how you can write 2 here and 1 here so both the blank spaces are filled what should you write in the first blank in the first blank please be careful the remaining digits are identical so 1 and 1 so remaining digits are identical and that identical digit is 1 so you have to take this 1 and multiply with the next natural number so 1 multiplied with 2 is equal to 
so this two you have to write here 221 so final answer is 221 if you want you can verify this using a calculator as well so let's verify 17 multiplied with 13 is equal to how much 221 you can see for yourself 221 let's take one more example so look 21 multiplied with 29 if you look at the last digit of both the numbers 1 plus 9 is equal to 10 <coughs> and the remaining digits remaining digits of both the numbers are identical so so yes we can apply the shortcut so what will be the shortcut you have chosen one digit from here and one digit from here so you are going to make two blank spaces here two blank spaces and here one single blank space whatever will be the answer i will write in this first blank space but here there are two blank spaces two blank spaces now what we do to fill the last two blank spaces you multiply the last digit of both the numbers that means one and nine so 1 into 9 is equal to 9. So you cannot write 9. You have to write it as 0, 9. Because here you have to somehow fill both the blank spaces. So you cannot write 9. You will write it as 0, 9. So that both the spaces are filled. Now coming to first blank space. What should I write in first blank space? So 2 is identical. So in both the numbers, 2 is identical. So you take this 2 multiply it with the next natural number so next natural number means 3 so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 so write this 6 here 609 so final answer would be 609 if you want you can verify this as well so let us see 21 multiplied with 29 so 609 Let's take a few more example here again. Let us see. So last digit 2 plus 8. If you add them up, this comes equal to 10 and the remaining digits are identical 7 in both the case. So yes, here also you can apply the shortcut. So let's apply the shortcut. Here there are two blank spaces, two blank spaces and here one single blank space is there. So here 2 into 8, 2 into 8 is equal to 16. So I will write 1 and 6 here, 16. So two blank spaces are filled. What should I do with the first blank space? So take the identical number out. So identical number is 7. Multiply 7 with the next natural number. So 7 multiplied with 8. So 7, 8s are 56. So you have to write 56 here. 56 you don't have to worry about the number of digits in first blank space you don't have to worry because there is no place where you can send the carryover so if the answer is 56 you have to write 56 in one single blank space but here in the end portion there are two blank spaces that you have to fill let's take one more example 51 multiplied with 59 so here again if you see the sum of last two digit is equal to 10 and the first digit of both the numbers is identical so yes we can apply the shortcut here as well so let's see two blank spaces two spaces which you have to fill and here one single blank space so let's fill this blank spaces now so one multiplied with nine answer is nine so I will write this as 09 because I have to somehow fill both the blank spaces. So 09. Now what about the first blank space? Take this identical number out. Multiply it with the next natural number. So 5 multiplied with 6 is equal to 30. So write that 30 here. So final answer would be 3009. We can verify this as well. We can verify this. Let's see. 51 multiplied with 59 so answer is 3009 you can see 3009 answer so let's take another example 86 into 84 
So 6 plus 4, the last digit if you add them, it comes out to be equal to 10. So let's solve this quickly. So 6 into 4, 24. So write 24 here. In the first blank space, what should you write? 8. Because 8 is identical in both the numbers. So take 8, multiply it with the next natural number. So 8 into 9 is equal to 72. So 72 is what you have to write here. So final answer would be 7224. Let's see this one. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. And the remaining digit is same, identical. So yes, we can apply the shortcut. So let's apply the shortcut. So 7 into 3, 21. So 21 right here as 2 and 1, 21. Both the blank spaces are filled. Now coming to the first blank space, what should you do? The identical digit is 8. So take 8, multiply it with the next natural number. So 8 nines are 72. So 7221 is the answer. Look here. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. The remaining digits of both the numbers are identical. Remaining digits are identical. 20 and 20. So what is the shortcut? You have taken one digit from here and one digit from here and if you add them, the answer comes equal to 10. So one digit from here, one digit from here, total two digits. So make two blank spaces here and here one single blank space. So let us fill these spaces. 7 into 3 is equal to 21. So I would write 21 here. In the first blank space, what should I do? The identical number. Identical number is 20. So take 20. Multiply it with the next number. So 20 into 21 is equal to 420. So write 420 here. Let us verify this using calculator. So 207 multiplied with 203. So you can see 42021 is the answer. So calculator 42021 and the shortcut trick. We have applied the shortcut trick. We have got the same answer 42021. Let's see one more. Look here. Can we apply the trick here? We cannot apply the trick here. 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6 is 13. So this is not equal to 10. So trick does not work. Trick cannot be applied. So be careful. Trick cannot be applied in this case. Let's take one more example. 697 multiplied with 603. Now see, if you look carefully, the sum of last two digits, the sum of last two digit is equal to what? 97 plus 3. 03 is equal to 3. So 97 plus 3 is equal to 100. The remaining digits, remaining digits of both the numbers are same. So here again you can apply the shortcut. But with a slight change, what would that change be? Now you are using two digits of first number and two digits of second number. So total four digits you are using in addition. So that's why this time you have to make here four blank spaces and only one single space in the front portion. Rest, the process is same. So let us fill these blank spaces. So 97 into 3. So this is equal to 291. But there are 4 blank spaces to be filled. So you have to write 291 in this way. 0, 2, 9, 1. So that all the 4 blank spaces get filled. Now what should I write in the first blank? Take this identical number out, 6, multiply it with the next natural number. So 6 into 7, 42. 42. So this is the final answer, 420291. Let's verify this once. So our numbers are 697 and 603. So let's verify. 
तो सिक्स नाइन्टी सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ सिक्स जीरो थ्री इज द आंसर इक्वल टू फोर टू जीरो टू नाइन वन सो यस यू कैन सी द आंसर इज फोर टू जीरो टू नाइन सो आंस आवर आंसर एंड कैलकुलेटर्स आंसर मैचेज लेट सी कैन वी अप्लाई द शॉर्टकट हियर सो हियर एट्टी नाइन हियर इलेवन सो इफ यू एड एट्टी नाइन एंड इलेवन दिस कम्स आउट टू बी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड द रिमेनिंग डिजिट्स आर आइडेंटिकल सेम सो यस यू कैन अप्लाई द शॉर्टकट प्लीज सॉल्व दिस एंड टेल मी द आंसर इन कमेंट बॉक्स यू हैव टू टेल द आंसर इन कमेंट बॉक्स यू कैन टेक टेन सेकेंड्स ओके लेटर सी सो वॉट इज द शॉर्टकट यू आर यूजिंग टू डिजिट्स ऑफ फर्स्ट नंबर एंड टू डिजिट्स ऑफ सेकेंड नंबर सो आई विल मेक फोर ब्लैंक स्पेसेज हियर एंड वन सिंगल ब्लैंक स्पेस हियर सो इन दीज लास्ट फोर ब्लैंक स्पेसेज वॉट डू आई हैव टू राइट एट्टी नाइन इंटू इलेवन सो एट्टी नाइन इंटू इलेवन इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच आई विल टेल यू दिस शॉर्टकट ऑफ यू नो हाउ यू कैन डू ऑल दिस इन योर माइंड बट फॉर नाउ लेट्स डू दिस मैनुअली सो एट्टी नाइन इंटू इलेवन इज इक्वल टू एट नाइनटी प्लस एट्टी नाइन बिकॉज एट नाइनटी इज इक्वल टू एट्टी नाइन इंटू टेन सो फर्स्ट आई डू एट्टी नाइन इंटू टेन देर आई एड एक्स्ट्रा एट्टी नाइन सो दिस इज एट्टी नाइन इंटू इलेवन सो वॉट डज दिस कम्स आउट टू बी दिस कम्स आउट टू बी नाइन सेवेंटी नाइन सो नाइन सेवेंटी नाइन बट आई हैव टू फिल फोर ब्लैंक स्पेसेज सो आई वुड राइट जीरो नाइन सेवन नाइन इन फर्स्ट ब्लैंक स्पेस वॉट आई शुड राइट द आइडेंटिकल नंबर शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नेक्स्ट नेचुरल नंबर सो ट्वेंटी फोर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव सो आंसर इज सिक्स हंड्रेड ऑल दीज यू कैन डू थ्रू वेदिक मैथ ट्रिक आई विल टीच यू द ट्रिक ऑफ हाउ यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई एनी थिंग विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव इन योर माइंड सो फॉर नाउ लेट सी सिक्स हंड्रेड सो फाइनल आंसर इज सिक्स जीरो 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 नाइन सेवन नाइन लेट्स वेरीफाई दिस सो आवर नंबर्स आर टू फोर एट नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ टू फोर वन वन सो सिक्स जीरो जीरो नाइन नाइन सेवन नाइन सो आवर आंसर एंड द कैलकुलेटर्स आंसर मैचेज यू कैन सी बोथ दीज आंसर्स आर मैचिंग सो यस लेट सॉल्व वन लास्ट क्वेश्चन सो हियर यू सी If you look carefully, three digits of this number, three digits from here, and three digits from here. If you add them, so two plus nine nine eight. This comes out to be equal to thousand. So this thousand is also a base number, power of ten. So here again, you can apply the shortcut. What will be the shortcut? This time you will make six blank spaces because three digits of first number and three digits of second number have been used in addition. So three and three six. So six blank spaces. One two three four five six. So six blank spaces are here. And in the front there is one single blank space. So let's fill the six blank spaces first. So two into nine nine eight. So this is equal to one nine nine six. So I have to fill six blank space. So I would write zero zero one nine nine six. So all these six blank spaces are filled. Now let's move to the first portion. So twelve is identical. Twelve is identical in both the cases. Twelve. So what do we do now? Take twelve, multiply it with the next number. So twelve into thirteen is equal to one fifty six. So write this one fifty six here. So final answer comes out to be equal to one five six zero zero one nine nine six. If we want, we can verify using calculator as well. So our numbers are twelve thousand two. So twelve thousand two multiplied with twelve thousand nine ninety eight. 
तो लेट्स सी सो वन फाइव सिक्स जीरो जीरो वन नाइन नाइन सिक्स सो यस आवर आंसर एंड कैलकुलेटर्स आंसर दे मैच परफेक्टली सो नो प्रॉब्लम सो आई होप यू लाइक दिस ट्रिक एंड बाय अप्लाइंग दिस ट्रिक यू वुड बी एबल टू सॉल्व सम टाइम इन योर कंपिटिटिव एग्जाम्स और यू नो इन योर स्कूल एग्जाम्स सो फॉर मोर सच ट्रिक्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल If you have not done it so far, and please press the bell icon if possible.